<laughs> Capricia, we don't have glasses, but when we're done, we'll go back in and we'll toast you. But just, you know, <laughs> so we know that you are always a very special person to Cultural Tourism DC, to our diplomatic community, to chefs. We have some chefs that are here as well, I want you to know. So, you know, without your foresight, without your commitment, our receptions at the Blair House, our culinary partnerships wouldn't have happened. So without all those things, we wouldn't be where we are as a city and as an organization. So with that, a little token from a wannabe fashionista to a fashionista. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> Thank you for us. And now if you would like to say two words, few words, you're welcome to. <laughs> Well, <laughs> that is, um, this has been quite an evening. A very, I'm incredibly overwhelmed. Um, I guess I'll just use my few minutes here to say thank you. Uh, Jean, you, what you've done this evening in opening up your exquisite home, I mean, it's just stunning, beautiful, but more so, you open up your heart. You open up your heart for wonderful causes like this, wonderful organizations for these beautiful women who need someone to give them a helping hand, and just so many others. And um, we are very grateful to you as a community here uh, for being so incredibly supportive. So again, thank you so very much. And to Cultural Tourism DC, um, you lead at the helm so very well. And with your very able, wonderful board, and with this extraordinary woman, Jan, who has a smile that makes you do anything. Um, she's just fantastic. You really are. And Steve, where'd Steve go? Oh, there you are. Steve, did you get bumped? Steve, take my seat. Um, but that's just, that's Steve. I mean, just so gracious and wonderful always. Uh, you are just a wonderful organization and filled with such great talent. Um, and I thank the wonderful people from the Office of Protocol who are here tonight. I want them all to stand who are here uh, at the house. Stand up, hey! Do I not have any juice with you guys anymore? <laughs> Because I will have to say that uh, those individuals who are very kind to come here tonight and tell everybody else in the office that I'll note that they weren't here, okay? Um, but they really are the, the, the just the right and the left hand that I needed to get done. I would, I would literally send out emails, wacky emails at one o'clock in the morning. Hey guys, I'm watching uh, X and X movie. What do you think? I think we can do this. What do you think? And the emails I can tell would come back to me with a groan but okay, we'll definitely do that. Sounds great. And they're just talented. And as you say, Madam Ambassador, they are filled with spirit and they're ever so good looking. Um, but they, they really are, are, are part of me and, and forever I hope I will be a part of them. Um, and then to those who really do sit forever in my heart, I thank you all so, so very much, the ever so talented Diplomatic Corps. Um, I miss you so much! Um, <laughs> I really, really do. Uh, I had the best job. I really had the best job in the world. Uh, serving with you and alongside you uh, was just one of the greatest of honors. When I first took on this post, um, Natalie and Rosemary and Rachel and oh, Tom and Lauren, they all know that uh, I felt as though we had this great talent here in Washington, D.C. The, the best of the best were sent to the United States. And why were we not doing more with them? I didn't understand that. We have to engage more. We have to bring them in more. And so we created this wonderful uh, new division called the Diplomatic Partnerships Division, uh, through which we were able to have some great programming so that we could bring you around the world, so or around the country, rather, not the world I wish we went around. 
around the world, but around the country, and show you all, all parts of the United States because we're a fascinating nation. I think we're an extraordinary country with great talent and a, a wonderful culture and tradition that we wanted to showcase. And it was also a way in which we could learn more about you and your country. And so it seemed absolutely perfect that we would collaborate with Cultural Tourism DC. They got it, they understood it. That if we can share one another's culture, if we can learn more about one another, then maybe when those difficult issues come up, we can engage better. We can have those frank discussions with our friends because we know one another. And um, so it was really my pleasure and honor to be a part of Passport DC. Uh, the ambassadors literally opened up their homes. When you stepped across the threshold, you were suddenly in Liechtenstein, you were in Mexico, fabulous Mexico. Uh, you were in Botswana, you were in Mauritius. You went around the world and uh, you got a true experience and then you had a true taste at the embassy chef challenge a true taste of these countries and and you know we sit at many many tables and it's important to break bread at those tables with your friends and so these are really important programs and i certainly hope that they will flourish on and again i congratulate you all within this wonderful organization for the work that you do and Again, I would say it is my greatest honor uh, to have been a part of it, to have collaborated with you. Uh, I, I want to say one more time my deepest gratitude, and particularly for those ambassadors who spoke so beautifully just a moment ago. Um, I, I miss you, I do, I do, I miss you so much. <laughs> but I do love you. Uh, I will always carry fondly um, those memories and, and I do look forward, hopefully in, in our, my future, uh, to engage with you all, with you all further. So again, Jean, thank you for opening up your home um, and uh, to Cultural Tourism DC for this wonderful honor. Thank you.